and welcome back for the final time of Season 9 of the Lincoln Loco. We have got the Europa League final against Roma, followed by the FA Cup final against Tottenham. And you would have thought, it's finals, two of them, why am I not in a suit? Uh, and there isn't a reason for that. I recently uh, got sent a copy of Klopp Brings the Noise. Football Manager sent this to me because I won the hashtag FM moment of the month. Um, and because I won that, they sent me this book for winning it. So that was pretty decent. If you don't know what that is, the FM moment of the month is uh, a little competition Football Manager have going on. So literally, your best Football Manager moment, send it to them on Twitter with the hashtag FM moment. I sent them um, the moment when Brad Yeo won uh, European Golden Boy. And that was a good enough moment to win um, FM moment of the month. So they sent me this book to celebrate. And Jurgen Klopp, I've been reading it. He, I take my inspiration from him now, for Football Manager, obviously. Um, and because he's very casual, I thought, you know, let's let's adopt the Jurgen Kopp fashion statement, basically, for the final. So I've gone very casual. I'm just in a hoodie. He often wears a hoodie, I think. I mean, I could be wrong now. He may have changed his style in a few years. But I'm sure he wore hoodies quite a bit when he's at Dortmund and things like that. So that's why we're going to go for a hoodie today. Try and channel our inner Jurgen Klopp. Since you're last here, then, two games. We beat West Brom 4-1, very, very convincingly, hammer time, with a hat-trick. But then we lost 5-2 to Liverpool. But don't worry about that too much. We had a very, very rotated side there. Mark Hall scoring another two goals there to take his total to 16 this season. Uh, so that was pretty good to be found. That's how the season finished, those two results. It kept us in seventh, which is pretty nice, I've got to say. Man United win the, tab uh, win the table, top the table once again, win the league once again by 11 points this time. Arsenal really not doing very well in the last few games of the season. Uh, Liverpool in there managed to get a Champions League place ahead of Man City on the grounds that they beat us 5-2 and got better goal difference. I'd also like to point you in the attention of 90 goals for us. That leaves us top of the table this season for the amount of goals scored in the league, which is incredible. However, if you look at the number of goals we've conceded, 69, that is actually one of the highest goals conceded. Um, in fact, if you look at this, we would have finished down like 15th if it was a goal conceded, actually. So that is really poor. So we've got to sort something out defensively next season. Um, but at the same time, it's... It's not that bad considering how many we've scored. So it's a bit of a win-loss in that situation, I've got to say. So let's have a look at our Europa League journey this season. Of course, we topped our group there with 16 points ahead of Roma, who are on 8 points. The, the, the finalists today, Lincoln and Roma, both from Group B. Um, we started off very well, of course, beating Vitarol, uh, as did Roma, actually, with a 6 and win against Ghent. We drew against Roma 2-0 uh, before beating Ghent twice in a row, which was pretty nice. And then we came up against Vitarol again, winning 6-1, and then crucially beat Roma in that last group stage game, 5-0 after they had a poor run, actually. They lost, uh, they drew with Ghent there, but then lost to Vitarol there. So they've had a poor run in the end of the group stage where we absolutely thrashed them. Um, what am I saying there? They, they beat, that was not even the Roma game. Roma lost to Vitarol 3-2. They did lose. I just pointed to the wrong game. That, of course, then put us into that first knockout round against Stade Rene. We won 9-0 on aggregate. Uh, to then go up against PSV, won 12-4 on aggregate. Then went against Chelsea, 7-1 on aggregate. And then West Ham in the semi-finals, 5-1 on aggregate. We've had huge, huge wins in the Europa League this season. Now finishes up with Roma, who've had a, a more difficult route, I suppose, in terms of score lines at least. They've not done as well score lines and things like that. Uh, scraping through on a few occasions, including the semi-final, where they only won on an extra time, basically, which was, which was lucky for them. Of course, we have scored lots of goals so far um, this year in the Europa League. We can find where the record, if you look at teams, 69 goals so far in the Europa League. Um, the most any team's ever scored in the history of this save file, basically. And um, I, would, I would imagine as well, the history of the Europa League as well. I can't imagine many more teams scoring more than 69 goals in a season in the Europa League. So that's good for us, of course. Hopefully today we make it 70 with a 1-0 win or something like that. This then is the lineup for today's game. Barish Urza keeps himself in goal despite conceding five against the... Uh, who do we play? Liverpool, of course. Despite conceding five against him, keeps his place. Uh, Masovic, Patino, Benteke and Ferreira come into that back line. Uh, Jalapeno and Merton start in the midfield, of course, just because they're amazing. Uh, Gomez, Diaz and Lacassic starting this time on the right-hand side. Now, Despacito is usually our man on the right, but I couldn't I couldn't play today's game without Lacassic really on that right-hand side. He's got to be there. He's a fan favourite, not with just Lincoln fans, but you guys as well. So he's a fan favourite for everyone. And then Hammer Time starts at front as well. I was also toying with Liam Coyle if he should play as well, but he's barely played. He's been a forgotten soldier, really. Not played much at all this season, but of course has been a hero for us. He's been our longest serving player, actually, for, for a long time. Out of his 252 appearances, we've given him over 200. So it's it's kind of, you know, we, we do owe him a lot. He's been a player here for a long time, but it's, it's probably about time for him to go now, I think. He's got clubs interested and he wants to leave, so... This is probably going to be his last season at the club, unfortunately. That being said, actually, we'll put him on the bench, shall we? We'll take... 
I mean, I, uh, who do we take off on the bench for him? I mean, he, Jimenez, he's looking a bit tired. We'll take Jimenez off. Sorry, Jimenez. Um, but Liam Coy may have to come on at some point. Right then, that's the team. Let's submit that and uh, get ourselves to the cup final. We know all about Roma. They're playing a bit of a more defensive formation compared to ours, of course. Uh, I'm just going to go calmly. Go out there, boys. Good luck out there, rather. Um, we're going to need it. Oh, but why, that's a bad thing to say, to be fair. Luckily, no one's really cared about what I've said. Uh, but with hindsight, after I said that, that's a poor thing to say. I'm sorry about that, boys. Right, today's kickoff. We're playing at um, Red Bull Leipzig Stadium, actually, in Germany. So it's it's quite obviously a neutral venue, but very neutral for both of us, playing in Germany for whatever reason. Um, hopefully, the fans are going to be packed out here for us to, to see us win, hopefully. But, of course, we drew and beat them 5-0. I can, Like I said in a previous episode, it would be poetic justice that they can beat us now after we thrashed them in the group stages. This guy here, Tim De Groot, actually, we had him on trial um, in pre-season. We just couldn't get a work permit for him. He's better than Angel Gomez, technically. Um, I think he's about he's, he's a higher star rating, basically, than Gomez. And I would have liked to get him in, but we just could not get a work permit for him, which was frustrating, because um, I would have loved to have him at the club. And he's gone to Roma instead, but I suppose... Gomez this season has been on fire, so perhaps we don't really need him too much. It's been a very, very cagey first 25 minutes, though. Only the three shots, uh, none of them on target from either side there. And it's it's highlightless so far. And as I say that, here comes the first highlight of the final. It's going towards Roma now as it's played into Abel uh, Ru uh, Ruiz. Uh, Jalapeno that makes a decent challenge now. We're trying to come forward now. Gomez with a chance to try and sort of spread the play a little bit to see if we can do something. Mertens gives the ball away cheaply there, and now they're coming forward with it. Uh, Calapo coming forward with a shot. Narrowly, narrowly misses the post there. A very powerful low shot there, but puts it wide. And fortunately, uh, results stay 0 0 right now as we approach the half hour mark. This is scaring me. We've been an absolutely free scoring side in the Europa League this season. Of course, 69 goals in the Europa League is insane. And right now, it's not looking like we're that free scoring side that we're used to being. Uh, none of the players are really turning up. To be fair, none of the Roma players are turning up either. We've been the side ever so slightly on top in terms of stats, but there's not really much in it at all as we look at this. Uh, and now is another highlight now, the second of the, the first half and second of the game, actually, of course. Uh, it's coming forward now to them, but Benteke clears things up at the back and now we're trying to build a little bit. We've got a bit more shape this time compared to the last highlight when we gave possession away cheaply and we give it away there with uh, Hammer Time giving it away annoyingly there. And now Roma have a chance to come forward, though. Jalapeno collects the ball and Hammer Time now with a chance to show his dribbling and pace, plays it out to Lukasic, Lukasic into Gomez, Gomez had time to control it, but took it first time, snatched at it really, I think the pressure was sort of getting to him, and he put it wide of the post, but there's another highlight straight away, Jalapeno into Patino, Patino back to the goalkeeper, and now the goalkeeper's got a chance to show his distribution, which usually when I say that means it's not very good, but a fair pass defeat there to Ferreira, that was a decent ball, and now we're trying to build once again, I say build quite a lot and I feel like I'm nervous when I say it. And I, I'm nervous now as we try and get the ball up the field. Hammer time into Lukasic. Lukasic can put a decent cross in. We know he can. Puts it into Gomez. Keeper saves it. Right, half time. Passionate. Time for him to dig deep. Why is, no, why is no one caring about that? Why does no one care? I mean, there are some attacking players that have not played well at all, to be fair. Diaz... This could be his final season at the club. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. He's been a, he's been fantastic, but his ability is nowhere near the the likes of Hammer Time and things like that. I think he's been a bit lucky so far today. I'm going to go calmly. Um, um, you've been unlucky so far. He looks happy with that. In fact, I'll say it to to Gomez and Hammer Time as well because they've not played particularly well. Um, calmly. Um, You've not been that bad. You can improve. Uh, I didn't do it for Hammer Time either, but I'm going to say the same thing to him. You weren't that bad. You can improve. He looks motivated, which is nice. So we start the second half. I'm, ten shots or three shots. That seems conclusive to me that we've been the better side, but it's nothing on the scoreline yet, and we can only judge the scoreline. Uh, I, I am really starting to feel like this is the game now that's only going to be won by one goal, and it's, it's a one goal either way. And I've not seen two... I mean, we've had a lot of shots, but I've not seen a lot of quality shots from us. Only two shots on target. I think Hammer Time's going to have to come off. Um, and I think we have to bring Mark Call on as well at some point. The cross comes in for them. Benteke clears it, but only as far as Bakayoko. And now coming forward once again, Tim De Groot, that man we spoke about earlier, but his ball wasn't great and Benteke clears. Now the classic. Can he get a ball to Hammer Time who's through? Show your pace, Hammer Time. Hammer Time, saved by the goalkeeper. Once again, hits the post. Oh, he's, he's lost possession now. But that was the best opportunity we've had all game. But as I was saying, he's still not playing too well. Neither's Gomez. 
I reckon they both come off. We, oh, we took Jimenez off the bench. What was I thinking? We're not going to bring bloody Liam Coyle on, are we? Why did they take Jimenez off? Paul is coming on, the 18-year-old. He's one of our own, a Lincoln-developed player. La Classic as well, also Lincoln-developed. Both youth prospects and from the youth team. Hopefully they'll combine at some point to, to score us a goal or something like that. Mertens and Jalapeno, not played too well. So I'm going to bring Crazy Eyes on instead for, for Jalapeno. He's got scary eyes, so he may scare the Roma defence a little bit. Um, hopefully that's the case. That's what I'm praying for. I don't, I'm don't. i reluctant to go to overload because I feel like if we do that, Roma are going to score on the break. We don't need to go on overload on the grounds that we've had 16 shots, 17 shots of their five. We don't need to do it. It's just that we've not been very good. Four minutes of added time and there is a highlight now on the 89th minute. Now, whoever scores a goal now, it's, it's surely game over to the other team. Roma are coming on the attack and it took me a while to say that. Tim the Groot. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Calm yourselves down now, boys. Calm yourselves down. I don't know why I'm telling them to calm down. It's me needs to calm down. Um, as we approach full time, here we go. It's, it's 40 seconds over, but it looks like it is now going to be full time. Angel Gomez has taken a knock. And, I mean, what do we even say? I'm going to say the same thing. Dig deep. They look to gain confidence from that, which is better. Um, as Gomez has picked up a knock, can Despacito play on that side? <sighs> no. Can Coyle play there? Does he want to play there? Of course he doesn't. Why, why would he do that? Lacassic? Any anyone? Lacassic? No. Despacito then is gonna to have to come on on that right hand side. Let Diaz can play there. Oh, Diaz can kind of, kind of play there inside forward on attack. Um, doesn't really help too much because we've got no one who can play attacking midfield now. So we have to just undo these changes quickly. Diaz on the wing, inside forward on attack. Despacito, uh, Despacito can't, we just discussed that, didn't we? Pandolfi, can Pandolfi? No, can, Crazy Eyes, Crazy Eyes kind of can. So Pandolfi and Mertens can swap over, and that's, that's what we'll do. I guess that's what we'll do. Can Mertens play there? I'm, I'm asking too much now, just just get on with it, Tom. Right, extra time, underway. It's, I'm so scared. I, I don't want it to go to penalties. I do not want it to go to penalties, because that is when we're going to lose it. I, I'm, I know we will. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it now. I'm going to go overload now in extra time because I do not want it to go to penalties. We've got half an hour to grab a goal. Um, once we grab that goal, we'll move it back down to a more control and things like that. Ben Tekinik's an important header there. Otherwise, their man was through. Uh, Diaz can't win, but Mertens equally can't win it. And now Tim De Groot has been put through. He's still through. Calapo, no. Please, no. Highlight straight from kickoff. Highlight straight from kickoff. In FM 17, this meant goal every single time. It does not mean that in FM 18. And we've given possession away. And I can guarantee you now I've said that. It means a goal for, for Roma, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. Diaz. Okay, we've won the ball back. Diaz, get a ball into Mark Hall. Come on. Instant reply. Instant reply. It's like nothing happened. Come on, boys. I like that. That is solid from us. Solid from us to be able to do that. Takes a cool head to do it. And Mark Hall... The coolest head on the pitch right now. H how is he starting the striker right now? I mean, Hammer Time. He's meant to be... He scored over 50 goals this season, Hammer Time. Over 50. And yet, he couldn't do anything. And Mark Hall's the one that scored the goals for us. It's, it's half-time and extra time now. This is going to be a long episode. I do apologise already. This is this is way more than my self-imposed 20-minute limit on videos. But it's it's cup finals. Two cup finals. I'm getting very hot and sweaty as well. I'm, 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 I'm flustered. I'm flustered in this final. Oh, please. What, Angel Gomez has picked up a knock? I swear we took him off the pitch. I'm sure we took... Lukasic. Lukasic! Oh! It would have been written in the stars for him to win that. It would have been written in the stars for him to win that. And he's not. We have to take more risks. A higher tempo, please. Um... Um, what what more can we do? What more? Be more. Exp no, let's not be more expressive. I don't want to do that. Five minutes to go. There's a highlight. Mertens, Patino, Masovic, Masovic up. That's a poor ball. What was that? And now De Groot coming forward for but Mertens. Can't tackle him. Macaroni on the ball plays it through to their man, but Pandolfi's there. He's Pandolfi loses it. De Groot bent. We're messing around at the back. Don't do this to me, Benteke. You clear that now. Barish, don't you? I thought it was going to the back of a net. Right, clear that. Barish loses it, but Crazy Eyes wins it back. Lukasic now. Lukasic coming forward. Be a hero. Youth prospects combine. Pandolfi. Pandolfi into Hall. Hall! Pen oh my god, it's a penalty. Oh my 
this is you cannot write this thing. You cannot write this. Mark Call is the man to take it, of course. He's got the best stats. I don't I don't think I can watch. Europa League final, extra time, penalty with three minutes to go. Can the youth man do it? Oh my goodness. He's oh. His rating has plummeted to a 6.6 .6 because of that. He's 18 years old and he couldn't hack the pressure. Fair. Oh my god. No. No. I'm smiling because I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. If we. I. You, you cannot write these things, can you? You cannot make this stuff up. I think I'm, the way it's happened, I'm not even cross. Because it's just inevitable that these things would happen. 118th minute missed penalty. 120th minute winner for them. I, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. The worst bit is, I'm recording this on Sunday night. I've got to keep this a secret for literally like most of the week now. Unlucky. Unlucky out there, boys. I'm going to say that to them. I don't want to ruin them before the, the other cup final. I've, I forgot we had another cup final as well. You can, you just can't make that up, can you? You can't make that up. I, I, I can't believe it. It's annoying because we were the best team in the Europa League this season. The best team. And I said it would be poetic justice for Roma to beat us in the final after we thrashed them earlier on. And yet, Hammer Time's 28 goals in the Europa League wasn't enough to win it for us. See, Hammer Time, Despacito, Angel Gomez, three best players voted for in the Euro Cup Player of the Year. Tottenham, they're coming the other final now. And, um, I mean, to be fair, if we were going to win one of those finals, I thought the, the Euro Cup one was easier. Tottenham, that's going to be a different kettle of fish. I mean, no, no one's been able to have a rest um, since that game. So... Uh, Okay, Kirby Ash is going to come on for Patino, and I guess I guess we have to bring Garcia on because Ben Teke and, and Patino are both tired, tired. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Low Coil is going to come on for Diaz. Uh, we're going to play a bit more defensively, and then I guess we're going to have to bring on Jimenez as an inside forward for injured whatever he's called Gomez. The other guys can stay. I say now we'll bring Despacito on for the Cassic. Um, we'll, we'll leave it like that. I'm, I just. I can't believe it still. FA Cup final now. Um, I mean, we're guaranteed to have Europa League football next season anyway because Tottenham have already got, um, what do you call it, Champions League. Uh, we are in seventh place. So whoever wins this will get that seventh place, essentially, finish in the league. What, what I'm trying to say is we've guaranteed ourselves Europa League football for next season, whatever happens. So it doesn't matter. Of course, we beat Tottenham last season in the League Cup final. So it is possible to beat them. It's a, it's a repeat of last season's League Cup final, obviously. I've just said that. Why do I have to say that again, Tom? I think it's setting into me now just how cruel foot manager can be sometimes. Like, But how written in the stars that must have been as Despacito put as one of them. At least we might win one final. At least we're, we've scored in normal time. Mark Hall. You just, you just can't, can't write it, can you? There could have been a statue outside the new stadium for him. But no, um, th th there's not going to be a stadium. Oh, there, isn't going to be, there is going to be a stadium, just not a statue to Mark Hall. Because he missed the he missed the penalty. He missed the penalty. Even if their gold still gone in in the 120th minute, it wouldn't have mattered because we would have um, had a penalty shootout and maybe won that. Would have given us another chance, but no. We've got a chance to try and make it two now as Hammer Time comes forward but gets uh, dispossessed by Ruben Diaz. But we've won possession back now. Garcia uh, plays it through to Jalapeno. And Jalapeno back to Hammer Time, who was... Awful last game, really. To be fair, a lot of the blame lies on him. You know, he was been a prolific goal scorer all season. Didn't turn up last game. Where was he? Where was he? Jesus Christ, the dog is just annoying me now. It's, I mean, I'm, I, I apologise. I'm getting a bit aggy, but yeah, I think you can understand. Winning the FA Cup put us straight into the group stages of the Europa League, actually, which I suppose is kind of nice. It means we don't have to go through the embarrassment of being knocked out in the qualifying stages. But I, I feel like even winning this now is... It feels insignificant compared to the way we just lost the Europa League final. Who knows how many European finals we're ever going to get to us. Liam Coyle on perhaps his last ever game for the club after over 200 appearances scores a goal. I'm that has made me happy. That's made me smile. Uh, that has happened. I am happy for him actually. Liam Coyle is a player that 
when he goes, he will be missed. He's asked to leave, and I said yes. And he is going to go this summer, but it's going to go with a heavy heart, despite Norrie not using him this season. It is going to go with a heavy heart. Final moments of the game, then Hammer Time collects the ball on the edge of the area, crosses it into nobody, and their keeper collects it. But all he's got to do is really sort of punt the ball upfield. Someone heads it, and then the referee is going to blow their whistle for full time. And uh, it's Kobe Ashley who's the man who nods it on. And there we go. It's all over. We've won 2-0. We've won the FA Cup. Um, but I, it, it doesn't feel special to me or anything like that right now. It just feels... I feel empty. I feel empty. Congrats, lads. Good performance out there from you. You beat Tottenham 2-0. Uh, which means, obviously, we do go into the Europa League group stages next season. But we just got a, an achievement. Cup glory. You win a top domestic cup. So I guess the League Cup doesn't count as a top domestic cup, despite us winning it last year. Uh, we win that. Bonuses paid out to... some, but Quite a lot of bonuses paid out to a few players there. Um, Two million. I'm building a legacy. Um, oh, am I going to be an icon now? Am I an icon? Have I moved on from favourite personnel, which I was so cross about? Yeah, I'm an icon. Um, still not a legend, which I do find a bit annoying, but, um, you know, I'll get there one day. More records for more goals. We scored 20 goals in the FA Cup this season, beating Arsenal by one. So, so many records for goals we're, we're setting. This is a, a scoring side. So many goals we're scoring this side, isn't it? This is the all-time best level. Have a look at that if you want. Uh, interesting names in there to be fair. Josh Silver in defence, what are they on about? Diaz comes out on top of player of the year this season. He is, to be fair, I've got to say my player of the year. Um, looking at everything, 25 goals this season in all competitions, 18 assists as an attacking midfielder with a uh, 7.75 rating overall. That might be behind me, that's what it says. 7.75, uh, 5.7 sorry, overall. He's been incredible this season. It's just a shame that he's... Um, Good player for Premiership. He's three stars, to be fair. He's moved up a little bit. We may keep him. We may get someone better in. Depends who we can get. Uh, Hammer Time and Angel Gomez, though, make up the, the rest of the player of the season and things like that. Um, and I, I want to see, is there anything, anything else interesting to talk about? Not really. So, that's it, I suppose. I've got a World Cup to play now uh, with England. We'll do a little spin-off series with England in the World Cup over the next few days. Uh, they'll probably be more like bonus episodes rather than an, an actual series. They'll be like bonus episode type things. So look forward to that um, and watching me lose to South Korea with England. If you've enjoyed today's episode and of course the season as a whole, make sure you do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content and for the next season of the Lincoln Loco. And I'll see you in season 10 as we try to get to another Europa League final and lose 2-1 extra time in the 120th minute. Great.